Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. So I am... Um, one of the biggest things I'm working on right now is that last week was an annual conference that for more than 20 years was a big part of my life. And although I, at some level, don't really feel drawn to it anymore, I'm also really upset that it's no longer part of my life anymore. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why do I care if I'm not drawn to be there? It just, it's looping and I've not figured out why. Is it fear of missing out? Um, I don't think so because I, I got the app. I could tune in. I could connect anytime I wanted to. I just, I'm not drawn to do that work anymore. And yet, yeah, I, yeah, I put my finger on what it is. Is what you're missing the work or the people? The people. Yeah. So are you cutting those people out of your life? Apparently. Yeah. So are you willing to destroy the belief that by not attending, you are cutting those people out of your life? Yes. Because <laughs> <sighs> I'm sure there's some people that go to the event that you see outside the event used to yeah. i mean yeah the event is virtual this year but also over the since my first event in 93 uh yeah it's changed a lot as to who gets to go and when we connect and yeah okay yeah, that just brought up a whole bunch of, wow, I haven't seen some of those people in a very long time and they mm -hmm. live on other continents and I don't see or hear from them. Okay. Yeah. So is what you're experiencing just sadness for losing all those people? Waves of sadness. Yeah. That's just. And yeah. that's okay. Let that sadness come out. Yeah. And oddly enough, my contact information hasn't changed very much over the decades. So if they wanted to reach me, they know how to reach me. It's not okay. like I'm hard to find in those circles. But remember that people move into different frequencies. Oh yeah, absolutely. So. I'm, I am very clear on the whole it's actually one of the things that um, we're going to talk about later today um, is the whole, you have uh, always said that, you know, our frequencies will shift. The thing that I wasn't so clear on is how hard it will be when the people that were around us are no longer around us. Yeah. It can be hard because when you're operating at a completely different frequency than someone else, they either have no desire to be around you or they can actually create animosity towards you. Oh, uh, or make up stories about how your life choices aren't safe for them. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, yeah, we have an hour dedicated to this topic. So yeah, that's that'll be a thing. But the sadness around the convention, and yeah, it's weird because I used to bend over backwards to make sure that I was at the convention and up to date and spending all hours. Actually, there's a really funny story of um, my wife and our friend coming along and they didn't really believe why I always needed to go to the beach the weekend after until they lived through it. And they saw me by 
Thursday night where I was so bleary eyed from all the things I'd been learning and doing and still going back for more on Friday. And they were having a very good laugh over it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she she laughed her ass off. <laughs> but yeah, I just I'm not drawn to do that work anymore. And yet there's still the whole change is fucking hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Truth. Is it wrong to leave people behind? Oh. Yes. Okay. Where the fuck did that come from? So are you willing to destroy that belief? Yes. <coughs> well, hello. Oh, goodness. All right. Yeah. There's another thing coming up, actually. Do you have to be compensated for every good deed you've done? Wow. Um, my ego is saying no. Fuck. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to be compensated for every good deed you've done? Yes. <coughs> hey, that's one of those from way the fuck out in left field. Didn't see that one coming. Okay. How's that feel? Yeah, um, lighter. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. I'm still not sure entirely. Yeah, English. Um, not entirely certain where that came from, but that's why we call them unconscious, because mm -hmm. the conscious mind talking to you now didn't know that was there. Yep. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.